It was a calm spring morning on Sodor, and the engines were getting ready for the day. James was waiting for his driver and fireman. Henry saw James in the shed and thought of a way to tease him. You know what, James? teased Henry. What? puffed James. I don't know why the fat controller didn't give you a lovely blue colour. The passengers could mistake you for Edward. Henry chuckled, but James just wished steam angrily. Well, at least I like the colour lead unlike you, Henry. Henry wished with embarrassment. He didn't like being reminded of the incident. Just then, James's driver arrived. Good morning, James. Today, the fat controller wants us to take a mixed goods train down to the docks. A goods train? I will not pull a goods train. Can't a salty pull it? They like messing with goods trains. His controller's orders, James, said his driver. I'm not going to pull it. So there. This gave the driver an idea. Would you fancy being painted green, James? I can go and get the paint right now since you don't want to be really- All right, all right, I'll pull it. James soon arrived at the shunting yard. Edward was there. He had just finished shunting the last truck for James's train and was taking on water. A good train, honestly. My reputation will be ruined by pulling a line of dirty trucks. As James backed down onto the train, Edward puffed up next to him. Morning, James, said Edward. Just some advice, but I would suggest that you don't take the train all at once. Pah! snorted James. I can pull this train with ease. I'm not old and slow like you. And James puffed away with the trucks clanking behind him. You never listen, do you, James? sighed Edward. James was soon racing down the line. I don't need old Edward's advice. I'm one of the strongest engines on Sodor. As James started going up Gordon's Hill, the load in the trucks caused James to slow down. Sparks came from James's wheels as he puffed and panted up the hill. At last he reached the top. Hooray! I knew I could do it! Then there was trouble. James started going much too fast. He started racing down the hill. Cinders and ashes whistled James. Help! As James thundered round the bend, Marin came into sight. James applied his brakes and waited for the crash. He came to a stop just in time. Phew! Thank goodness! Just then, Sir Topham Hat arrived. James! Boomed Sir Topham Hat. Why did you come in so fast? It wasn't completely my fault, sir. Edward didn't tell me about the heavy trucks Oh, and... change! You and Edward have worked on this railway for many years. It's about time you learned how to take care of yourself, like Edward has. He is a really useful engine and knows these trucks well. I know, sir. Sorry, sir. Later that night, James spoke to Edward in the shed. Edward? Yes, James, said Edward. I'm sorry for not listening to you. That accident was all my fault. I accept your apology, James. Although, you know what to do in the future, don't you? Don't take good trains all at once. And the two chuckled into the night.